Steve Buckley here at Fenway Park with my old buddy Dave Melrose, the head groundskeeper at Fenway Park. Now, are you still heads groundkeeper, or I know they're big into titles here now. Are you <laughs> vice president in charge of landscaping or something? <laughs> my official title is director of grounds. See, that's what I mean, director of grounds. <laughs> Joe Mooney was the groundskeeper. <laughs> I guess that's just a title, so. All right, so so I look out the window all winter long. We got snow after snow after snow after snow. At one point, there was seven feet of snow in my backyard. Yet, I'm standing here now at Fenway Park. This place has never looked better on the ground. How'd you do it? Uh, you know, I'm fortunate to work with a great, great co-workers and teamwork. You know, I think you're only as good as people around you, and I'm blessed to have a great team. You know, we use black sand. Well, that, that's all nice, but I mean, give me some technical stuff. Black sand, tell me about you the know, black sand. So, you know, white, uh, the snow being white reflects light. And so the black sand will absorb the heat. And so uh, the guys carried uh, 80, 50 pound bags on their shoulders, put it in a shovel and slung it over the top of the snow, just kind of made uh, a grid pattern. And the first week, uh, the snow melted about two and a half feet. And the second week we threw out uh, another half a ton and uh, we melted basically another 40 inches. Is this the same as I've heard that some groundskeepers use ground up tires? Yeah, it can be the same idea. It absorbs heat and it'll melt snow. And the end result was what we're seeing here right now. Is, is this the best it's ever looked in early April? Well, you know, I think each year we strive for the best. You know, I think we're fertilizing today, so in the next two weeks the, the, that should kick in and green us up even more. And what pitfalls are you expecting between now and the home opener against the uh, Washington Nationals in a couple of weeks? <laughs> Mother Nature is always That's the kind of where I was heading. You know, yeah. you just never know. You know, they say it might rain and it could turn to snow. But Any problem areas right now? I see these guys are working on home plate over here. What are they doing? Yeah, we're just fine tuning everything. Um, we were measuring everything out. We're setting our base anchors for the spring. We'll survey that. So everything's just kind of a lot of attention to detail. You know, over the winter, we put four by eight sheets of two inch insulation over all our clay, our baselines, our mounds, our plates. And so it keeps the frost from going as deep. So that was removed over the weekend and then the mounted plate this morning. And so that really helps us get a jump start. Um, that with a tarp on top controlling that moisture compared to a lot of you know city fields that don't have that luxury of doing that They're still fighting mother nature the rain the frost in the ground true story about 25 years ago Wade Boggs who had this great incredible hitting eye Told Joe Mooney that he thought home plate was off by like 1 32nd of an inch and Joe said, you know, you're crazy and so forth. Well, they ended up measuring home plate it turns out that Wade Boggs with his with his eyeball determined correctly that home plate was off just by a little teeny weeny bit. With that in mind, do players ever talk to you about groundskeeping and the bases and the height of the mound and the batter's box and, and, and the, the, the moisture and the, uh, and the running areas off of first base? Do players consult you on these things? You know, I welcome. Or you consult them? Yeah, absolutely. We welcome that feedback. It's two-way two -way street. I want that feedback. You know, our job is to make the field play like they want. And so if they have an idea, a suggestion, a concern, we want to Who's talk about it. What's the biggest pain in the ass? Gosh, you know, it, I can't think of one. You know, it's just that community. We won't use it. Tell me. <laughs> I can't think of one. <laughs> so, so this ballpark, if they had to play this afternoon, could they get this place ready? Oh, yeah, we could be ready. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's, the, the guys have worked really hard this spring. Was there ever a moment at any point, this is the, the get-out-of-town question here, we'll throw it back. Was there ever a moment at any point during the winter you look out the window and you say, there's no way. <laughs> no, no, I was amazed how much snow we got in that five weeks. You know, over my years being in Milwaukee, we got a lot of snow, but it was usually from November to April, not that five weeks. So it was pretty impressive how deep it was out here, but no, no concerns. All right, so for the Herald Press Box with Vice President of Field <laughs> Maintenance, Dave Mallow, this is Steve Buckley, videographer Bob Grime at a very green and lush Fenway Park.